Yeah, I just made my way down to the auction barn here. Brought two more heifers that I never got bred. I got some money flowing a little bit here, but this is what's sad. It used to be there was no, you only had two paths to drive around here. There was no place to park. They would be parked up all along the road up this way. Right now it's 1230. This used to be the worst freaking time to come here. There's where we are. Now loading. But you get here at this time, trucks used to be backed up clear up to this point, all back down through here. I mean, they were parked on the road. You could not get in here. You know, if you come here around noon, you were sitting here for 20 minutes, 30 minutes on the road. And uh, now, I mean, the last five or six times I've come at noon, backed right up to the dock. Pens there where you check in, they're not even full. There's basically, I, mean, I don't expect to get much for these. I mean, they, but what are you gonna do? So, I'm gonna head home. I don't know, this, this is all more ground that maybe someday might be in solar panels, who knows? I don't know who wants, I mean, this this farm doesn't milk anymore. I mean, there's nobody milking down this way. Uh, there might be one farm back there. I, don't, I think they're all crop farmers now. But, like I say, this, this all ties in somewhat near that area, these areas. I mean, we're probably about 10, 15 miles from that substation. But that right there, Another indication that something's been coming. They got high power lines through here. A couple of years ago, they came through and they raised all these lines up. And I don't know. I don't know what all the regulations, or whatever are. From what I understand, I guess high power line got to be so high up. And I think some of these poles were getting bad. And I think they're looking at transmitting more power through these lines, so they had to be higher. So a lot of these poles out here, they have a metal column bolted at the bottom, bolted at the top. You know, they raised them up. I don't know how much, but a lot of these lines through here were raised. So like I say, a lot of stuff that's happening, something's been in a plan for quite a while, in my opinions. But I bet you that barn is all full of international tractors. I guarantee it. Used to see a bunch sitting out front there, and they built on and they built on, and I think that's a bunch of restored tractors in that barn. But couldn't say for sure, but I'm guaranteeing it almost is. Well, I guess. We'll see what else goes on today. Yeah, well, today it's raining just before a big storm. I guess we got winter weather advisory again for tonight. One forecast the scene says up to nine inches by 1 a.m. Saturday. Warning goes from 1 a.m. Friday to 1 a.m. Saturday. So I've been raining most of this afternoon here now, which sucks. I mean, I got other stuff to do. Still got to do it before the snow comes. I got to, but as usual, instead of doing what I plan on doing, planned on, I get another project to do. Now, uh, the other day here, this light didn't, it was on, and then I come back in the milk house and it was off again. And flip the switches like here now. Well, I don't have bulbs in that one right now because I'm getting ready to change it. But it would come on, or it wouldn't come back on. Well, then later in the afternoon, I come back, turn the lights on, and it, it came on. Well, today, or last night, it wouldn't come on again. So, I'm assuming, I doubt, like I say, both bulbs would burn out, but I'm assuming the ballast went bad, or is bad. Well, I went to get 
another, well, I, one thing, I forgot to look at what was in here. I should have known there was different ballast because they had like four different ones there on the shelf at the store. But the, a new ballast was 30, anywhere between 32 and 40 or 37 dollars. And like I said, I didn't know which ones were in there. But I ended up buying two new lights because they were, these here were $45. So like for another 10 bucks to get new lights. But I got two lights because that one, there's something definitely wrong with that light. That one was bad. It's been bad for close to a year now. I remember one day I came in here, I turned on that light, and I heard some, or turned the lights on, I should say, and I heard some sizzling and saw some sparking in this corner. And I never did post that video. I just stood here looking at it and said, well, yeah, should I try to do something about it or should I just walk away and let it go and collect insurance money? But it finally fizzled out and that so one socket is burnt. But I don't know, don't get why only half the one bulb lights up and got that glow to it. So anyway, that socket's been screwed up for that light. This one's screwed up. So I said to hell that I just went and bought two new lights. And I'm going to replace that. And of course, I can't find the tools that I want when I want them. So, but it's no big deal. I just take these two wires loose. And where the two, there's two screws that hold it in there. We got one there and one there. Just zip them out and change it around. So, first thing I gotta do is I'm just gonna turn the main breaker off, turn the power off completely here to the barn. Yeah. Oh, I need to be running. Because I ain't 100% exactly sure which. I mean, I could turn all the light breakers off and finally get it, but just easy to turn one breaker off and then go ahead and change this. So, I'm gonna work at that. Yeah, you know, I got the light up, this light up, put the power back on, so I'm gonna see if it works. Yeah, that's good. At least I got one light that works. Now I'm gonna tackle that one since. Seems to be raining a little bit harder now. And I say I shouldn't worry about it. No matter what I'm going to do, I'm going to get wet today. So, but now I got that one in. That took a little longer than I thought it would, but now I got it down. It won't take me long to get this one in. Biggest thing is I got to pull the sink and everything out of there, which is no big deal. It just lifts up out of there. So I'm going to get at that. Well, I got that one in. So now I got both lights working again. First time probably in a year and a half, two years. And I say it's what usually happens. You put things off until you absolutely have to. And like I said, there's no saving that light. I can't even get that bulb out of there. I mean, it's melted right into the socket. That's what it is. Now I even got thinking here, I probably should have replaced this one first and maybe I could have stole the ballast out of this one and put it in that light. But they're different lights and I don't know how much different the ballasts are. Oh! So, yeah, that's normal. The only thing is... Let's see here. I think I, that's probably why. I got, what the hell these say, T12 lamps, that's why. I was going to put new bulbs in these, these are T8 bulbs, and them are fluorescent. I have, well I had enough T8 LEDs. Of course, I couldn't get any other lights off unless I went somewhere else. That's all they had was these T12s, which I thought they were the same. I 
got mixed up there. But for some reason, them LED lights won't work in them sockets. So I put these fluorescent lights in, and they're lighting up. That's, it. That's one thing. I don't know what's all different about them. I know some of these lights, you have to do something different to run LEDs. I, I've seen people, they take the ballast out and direct wire the socket there somehow to use LEDs. Well, the lights that originally came with the barn here, we originally installed, uh, you see them two are LED, are the fluorescents yet. All the rest of these, them up there, and then there's, you're not going to see them, you know, maybe if I turn them on, if they'll turn on. I got six banks of them lights up there. Uh, them two are a switch on the other wall, and there's a that single one there. All these in here are all the same brand, same company, same sockets. And these are all LED lights in here. I've replaced them over the years. And all them up there, we replaced all these about three years ago because over half of them were burnt out. I had a ran a lift to get up there to put them in. I wish the hell the guy had put them on that first purl on instead of that second one because then I got to change all of them from the skid steer bucket. But because of the way the curves and stuff, I had to go rent a lift. And I had to have my nephew replace them because he's the only one who will go up that high. I won't, even on a lift, I wouldn't go up there. And we, even though we double checked, I ain't going to show up here too well. LEDs are on a strip in there and there's only one way them bulbs go in. And if you really look, maybe I'll go over there. You can see the black strips there. You're supposed to put them in and turn them so that strip is on the top. And we double checked that like that's the first thing we changed. We double checked it, turned them on before we moved. And we thought everything was right. And after we changed all the rest of them, we turned them all on. And then we noticed that one's that way. And I said, hell, I'm not, not going to climb back up there for it. Or I wasn't climbing anyhow. I wasn't worried about it. And, uh, so that's why I'm not too concerned that I can't put the LEDs in there. Yeah, still ain't gonna be able to tell from down here. Because what lights, what bulbs were good from that, I did save. So I got uh, two more bulbs left, three more bulbs left. So, and I had four of them LEDs yet, so that would have been enough. Which is fine if I ever have, if I ever need them. I can always put these two lamps or two of them lamps and finish out these sockets. So these are all LEDs. I mean, dim in here now. I got to. They need to be washed. And then I can put them. Use them two bulbs in here. I'm just gonna have to. I don't know how I'm gonna remember these are T12 bulbs. I don't. I don't know what the hell the difference in between them. Maybe T12s are LEDs too, but you gotta have a special one for special lights. So, and then while I was at it, I did a little bit of cleaning in here, what I can. And that's one thing, no matter how much you scrub, you're not going to get it completely clean because, you know, a lot of that's mildew there. I'd have to soak it with something. I ain't too concerned about it. You know, someday I hear I get a chance. I work my way around here, do a little bit every day, and get a little further ahead. But, uh... Sounds like the rain's died down, so I gotta go do the, you know, it's kind of the most important job to go do, but it doesn't have to be done, but if I don't do it today, then I gotta do it in all that snow. So if I do it today, then I'm good for a couple days. And then the important job I can do in the dark, so. So I guess get this situated back in there, clean up my mess, clean up my mess. I'm not surprised I did that. Oh well. This might be it for today, we'll see, so I gotta get back at it. Oh, I would have tried videoing some of this. I mean, I don't know if anybody really needs to have me show them how to put lights in, just hook up two wires and line everything up. But it was just a little bit too dark in here, nothing would show up that well, so I didn't video it. <clears throat> yeah, I just finished this up. I did a quick check here. Look. The difference between a T12 and a T8 
is the diameter. T12s are inch and a half in diameter and T8s are one inch in diameter. And you can use a T8 and a T12 fixture. So that's why these work. The reason why these didn't work, these are T8 and these were, let me see here, InstaFit. I remember look, getting these specifically because it says no rewiring, uh, whatever that is. Can't read now. Whatever. I remember when I was looking online about these and stuff. These you didn't would fit. You didn't have to change nothing. These were a direct fit. But to use a T8 LED bulb, you would have to change the ballast from a T12 ballast to a T8 ballast. There's something about direct wiring. Some LED bulbs you can direct wire, or you have, I think you have to change the wiring to direct wiring for LED bulbs. But like I say, these were direct fit, no rewiring required. Whatever's different about them in there. But yeah, for a T8 LED bulb to work in a T12 fixture, you have to change the ballast. So, I guess, like I said, that was my only option to get anyhow, and I didn't pay much attention to it. I knew it looked like they would fit. And I knew you could change bulbs around, but I didn't realize the LEDs were like the way they were. I knew the fluorescence didn't matter. So, which is fine with me. I mean, it's plenty bright in here. I don't need LEDs in here. You know, so, it is what it is. So, I guess that's it for today. I got one more barn of heifers to go do, and I can be done for the night. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch up to you later.